top level. Now let's say we want to switch this from a third deck into a sample deck. We'll go into the preferences and we'll go into decks and you'll see your options here. Deck D can be live input for recording drums or a singer or any kind of live input directly in or in this case we'll make that guy a sample deck as well. So now we can go ahead and load that sample deck up. Now you can use uh, samples or loops from loop libraries or you can use loops from your tracks. In this case let's go ahead and use the loop that we've already got running. So we've got a nice eight count loop. You can click and drag this directly into a sample deck or probably a faster way if we clear that out by pressing shift plus that particular deck is just by pressing the sample button of an open deck and it's automatically going to copy the running loop of the deck above it into that track into that sample slot and keep things in time but after you copy it it's actually muted so you don't hear two things at the same time if we turn up deck D which is where that audio is coming through and unmute it you'll hear now they're both running in time so what you want to do is just switch it over. Now I can stop the track on deck B and I've got that sample running on deck D. Let's say we go into the track and find a different point. I don't know what this sounds like so we'll just drop a loop and hope it sounds pretty decent. Sounds pretty clean. So let's grab that loop. Again, it's muted so we're not hearing the loop. But now we are. So now, in our loop deck, if we stop uh, deck B, we've got two loops running. We can mute one or the other and get them both playing again by hitting unmute. If you want, we can switch down to deck D and now we've got full control over those samples. We can not only mute and unmute them, but we can filter them together. That's using the loop length encoder that we were using before. Pressing that encoder will reset the loop. Next to it, we've got that loop move encoder, and that's gonna bring down the volumes for those samples. And directly underneath the sample mute buttons, which again we had access to up in deck A, you've got re-triggers. Pretty cool, huh? Now, the really interesting thing is that since we're in deck D, we can actually treat these two samples that are mixing together just like a full deck. We can re-trigger them together or stop the track. And now it's kind of treating, it's acting like a track where we can even grab it and actually scratch those two separate loops together. You can pitch bend the samples to do a little beat matching with other tracks. Um, and you pretty much have four loops that you can treat as a single deck and create remixes on the fly.